Hey y'all, we're fixing to make squash relish. So I wanted to bring y'all along and show you what we're gonna put in here. In this pot already, we have uh, one cup of sugar to two and a half cups of vinegar. I went less on the sugar cause I don't want it that sweet. I want it more of a tangy taste, but I wanna cut the vinegar taste just a little with the sugar. So that's what we have in here already. And what we're gonna add to it, let me get y'all where y'all can see. I'm gonna add some minced garlic. Oh, that one won't go in there. So we're gonna use the half a teaspoon and I'm gonna put four of these. all that off of there. So that's four half teaspoons of minced garlic. And right here I probably I've got turmeric. And I don't have much in there, but I don't need much because this stuff's strong. So I'm putting one fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric in it. Set that over there. Okay, then I'm gonna put some dried mustard. I'm gonna put one fourth teaspoon of dried mustard in there. If y'all are like us, we've got so much squash, we're trying to use it up. And right here, I'm gonna use this half a teaspoon that I put the garlic in, so I'm just gonna pour it in there since I've already put this down in my garlic. But I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of celery seeds. That's a half. Sprinkle that in there. This pot looks too big, but I'm fixing to add about eight cups of squash zucchini, and I even put an onion in it, or actually two onions. And I'm not gonna measure this, but I'm gonna put probably just a, just a pinch of dill, dried dill. Let me get y'all up here where you can see it. That's what it's looking like. We're gonna get this a little bit higher and get it to boiling. But that's our mixture we're gonna put our vegetables in. All right, now here is the squash and the zucchini and the onions that we chopped up. I have soaked them in salt for about two and a half hours to drink, to get the salt to drain some of the water off of them. And we're fixing to add this to our brine. It's getting to boiling good. Let me show y'all what it's looking like. And if you could smell it, it smells so good. And let me uh, try to taste it. Oh, that's good. You get loud. Let me set y'all over here and try to fix you where you can see because we're fixing to add that in there. I'm 
I'll start adding it slowly. I hope. And then we'll have to bring it up to a boil again. That's what it's looking like. Okay, that's what it's starting to look like. It's starting to change colors a little bit because it's getting a boil, starting to boil. You can really put anything in the, you know, like if you have peppers or uh, red peppers. Uh, some people even put pimentos in here, but I don't have any, so I'm not doing pimentos in mine. But I have seen that before. Okay, y'all. That's what it's looking like. It's starting to get all the way done. some of the juice out and then I'm going to add my juice in there once I get my vegetables in there tap it down and that one's about as full as I can get it That's why you have to wipe your lids off. Did y'all see that little piece get hung on that little ledge right there? So now whenever you get all your jars packed and you, uh, before you put your rims on, you have to wipe your lid off real good. I probably have enough for a little bit more, maybe in one more jar. So let me get that and we'll I'll bring you right back. Mm 
Wipe your lids off. I mean, your rim off real good. I'm going to add just a little bit more juice to it also. up to the one inch rim. That's it. That's what I need it right there. Those are good and hot. I'm gonna actually just do these three jars and the what little bit I have left, I'm gonna Put it in the refrigerator and just go ahead and eat it. We're actually having pork chops tonight, so I may try it with my pork chops because this squash relish recipe is good with any kind of meat. It's good on meatloaf, it's good on pork chops. Uh, I even put it in my salad. them in the canner in the uh, bath canner and we'll move you over here just a little bit so you can see actually I'll bring y'all right back let me get this where I don't have to move you around on video okay let's put the last one in let y'all see it um, it's coming to a boil so I'm putting them in there Right here is the uh, what I had left. It's actually a, probably about a quart, but I just put it in this container because I've gave out of jars, and this is what I'm going to put it in to keep it. I'll bring y'all back when we take them out.